What's up machine freaks and welcome to the vlog. The guys I guess are already snowmobiling. I'm gonna meet them up to Kyle S's. He's storing it for me. Thanks a lot Kyle S, I really appreciate it. Since I don't really have room right now, but I got my helmet right here. Uh, one problem with this helmet, there's all this room for air to come in and go right into my face. So what happens is when we went up north last year, I went 100 yards, 100 yards. It was so cold that my eyes actually glazed over with ice. That's how bad it was. So we had to immediately stop. We went into a restaurant. Kyle D suggested that I turn my sweatshirt around so my hoodie was in front of me. So from that day on, I continued to do that. I will do that tonight. I have it on right right now, the hood's back here. But I'll have to look into fixing that instead of looking like a jack wagon having my... If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. That helmet actually might make something, or I might have to get a really, really heavy duty balaclava, or face mask, whatever you want to call it. Well, let's get to it. The D-Max should be warm. If not, I'm sorry, baby. I know it's cold up north. I made it to my destination. I got my gas in the back. The guys went to Devon's, I guess, to get some gas. So we're all getting gassed up, I guess. Yeah! Not like that, like actual gas. So now I'm gonna go down. This is my first time riding the Skidoo. It's a 2004 Skidoo 800. It's a two joker. How's it going, fellas? Dude, you missed it. What? You come around the corner, and there was a coyote standing outside the cabin. And then you missed it. Monica hit me with a snowmobile. <laughs> she hit you with a snowmobile? Yeah. Devin's like, you wanna ride my snowmobile? And she's like, yeah, sure. And he goes, just give it a little throttle, like when I pull it. And you're not thinking she's gonna like hang on to it. Uh -huh. So I walked in front of the snowmobile and she <laughs> hammered on it and it took me out right at the legs. <laughs> Kyle S's his girlfriend took out Justin. <laughs> oh yeah. A skidoo, fellow skidooer. Yes sir. Does she run? Sweet. Hey, does it have electric start too? Yeah, I don't have a battery. No battery right now? I gotta buy a battery. Yeah, that coyote came out right there. You can see his tracks right there in the snow. Yeah, you have a long track. Mine's short. Here's my baby. Not too bad. I don't know what it has in it for fuel. Oh, it says it's got a third of a tank. Is it on there? Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. We got at least three quarter. quarters, yeah. yeah. Uh, sweet, that's enough for yeah, tonight. For tonight, y'all, oh, absolutely. I'm not quite it's sure, but we're not gonna put anything for miles on. I just wanna well, make sure we got fluids. Oh. That's my choke. A cliff, like no joke, he is on a cliff. I was trying to go for a ride. <laughs> okay, how are we gonna get this out? Seriously, that's what I'm thinking. You want to both lift up on the front end and try to drag it this way? I think so. That's our best bet. Okay, Kyle West came prepared. Good job, buddy. So Kyle plans on hooking up to the front of Devin's machine and towing it up the hill. Devin is lucky he didn't roll it. Just dragging Devin. That's the apex of Rado, buddy. I don't know how that even worked. I don't, I don't know. know <laughs> you were dragging Devin, yeah. too. You was dragging Devin. I wasn't Devin. about to let go of the juice hand. <laughs> Both his legs are on this side of the machine, just dragging. Yeah, dragging them. My knees are on there, but I'm like, I'm not letting up if it's moving. I couldn't believe he moved it. All right, we got to go find Justin. We lost Justin. That's why we're out here. We're trying to find Justin. We only went like one mile, and he's gone. Hopefully, we find him. The Skidoo needs some work done to her, unfortunately. Nine times out of ten, this never works. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, good thing Kyle came prepared with the strap. Surprise, I had one. I'm gonna throw one in mine. Yeah, no doubt, right? That thing almost went rolling. <laughs> it was up sideways, and I bailed off and pulled it back this way. 
I think I went through a belt. All of a sudden, it just popped. Like, whoa, poof. Already went through a belt, first day. You did it dirty. And I did it real dirty. Woo! It's supposed to be one piece. Yep, it's supposed to be. That sucks. Do you I, have a belt? I, I don't think she has another one either. They got the belt on the wrong way. <laughs> no wonder it went through. I don't think there's another one to it either. Woo! I heard it backfire too. Yeah. This is where it's supposed to go, Kyle. That's where the belt's supposed to go. There's no other belt. <laughs> Seven, first day on the job, she's already quitting. I, I was doing a big huge wheelie and all of a sudden my belt just blew up. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> look at it, look at it. Maybe that's why yours was squealing. Holy <laughs> You can try uh, JB Weld it back together. JB Weld? I was thinking rubber. Weld. Oh my god. I was thinking it's a bubble gum. <laughs> bubble got another one? Big loop. No. Nope. Big loop. I got two? one of mine. <laughs> I don't think it'll work, will it? No. You don't think it's the same size? Come on, Scuba Steve. <laughs> Pull it hard, Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve, damn you! It's the same belt! 5024, that's what he just said. He's got a 3 on there. 0534. 0534. Oh. It ain't gonna work? I'll pull it! You ain't gonna pull it! That, that Polaris don't got oh, it in her! Shit. <laughs> you think the Polaris can do it? Oh yeah! Oh good, let's do it! I can't believe the first day, not even a long ride, and the belt already went. That's why belts are directional. They're not supposed to be put on backwards. Thank you, Devin. The, the, the Polaris did very, very they wonderful. They told me it wouldn't work. Like, I, I had a hard time holding on to the handlebars. <laughs> you guys are going 50. Yeah. <laughs> we were flying. Kyle, it was so nice, I could let go of the handlebars, and the thing kept going straight. I didn't for very long, but I could have. Justin's gonna try to bring his sled in so he can put the belt back in it. We were having trouble with it before. You got late? Nope. Kyle and I are going to pick up his hitch and his ball because I need to use his trailer so I can bring my snowmobile down to the garage and actually go through this thing. I didn't like a couple of the noises anyways. You got the goods? She got the goods. Is she gonna fit? I'm not gonna rip that in half? I don't think so. This is Duramax though. They're called Durastroke. Durastroke. I just gotta back up to Kyle's trailer. I guess I'm putting the trailer on level ground so that way we can just push it up. I love these brand new tires. I can't get over that. This is the first pair of brand new tires and I'm showing them off, baby. I'm showing them off. Here's the rig. We got the rig all set up. She's even got a nice patch of snow on her so that we don't scratch her all up. Oh, prime time, baby, prime time. Who's gonna pull it? Gone green, boys, gone green. Mike, towing it up there? Yeah. If you think that sled's got it in it. <laughs> He's backing him up and we have like 10 extra feet of strap. <laughs> We'll see you guys later. Before we get into, I just wanted to remind you guys, when I hit 500,000 subscribers, I'm gonna go out and buy a new two-stroke dirt bike. It might not necessarily be brand new. That's not, not a surprise. I like brand new stuff. But I do wanna mention, like two videos ago, I believe I asked what brand I want. Flip-flop that. What you guys want me to buy, and of course everybody had different options, but it seemed like it came down to a Honda and like a KTM. Maybe I miscounted. So I'm gonna have to ask you guys again, what brand do you want me to buy? Because 500,000 is right around the corner. It's, it's coming quick. But until we get your results, let's open some packages. That's really cool. What's really funny is Jake stopped by last night and I said, hey, are you gonna buy some Loctite? He's like, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to invest in some of that. I got like a lifetime supply of it. Who do I have to thank for this? He must know I'm getting a two-stroke. Gear 3D Machines, my name is Chris Bosaw. That's a pretty cool name. I love your videos, I watch them every day. Thank you very much, Chris. The Loctite is for your machines, like the Honda, the BMW, and the Duramax. Ooh, 
I never knew Loctite stunk so bad. Sweet. Thank you very much, Chris. I really do appreciate it. This will definitely come in handy. I will definitely cover my nuts and bolts with it. Next! This is a neat way of packaging. Like, as soon as I open up the box, it invites me to read. Hey, 3D Machines or Dalton, my name is Nicholas Coulter. Coulter. Remember when you used to go to school, or if you still go to school, a lot of you, you still do, and then, like, a substitute teacher comes in, or, like, the first day of class, and the teacher mispronounces your name? I feel like I do that every time I open... I'm sorry. I'm 11 years old, and I live in a small town in Virginia. I ride a Honda 100 four-stroke. I just want to send you some stuff and watch your videos every day. I hope the Kodiak works out for you, and let's get some. Plenty of getting some here. It's Mr. Prince. Woo, and a watch. That's a nice watch. I have to say, you guys are definitely creative. Definitely creative. That's good. Man, you should, like, patent packaging like this. So here's his Honda 100, and then he's got a machine-free hoodie. I got, I got the same one. Thanks a lot, Nicholas. I really do appreciate it. This does look like print. It's, it's awesome. I had to cut it off the box so I can save it. I like to save this kind of stuff. And one more, because three is the lucky number. You must dig the BMW. It does not have a note on the package or in the package, but thank you. I do like that you sent it to Dalton Duramax. It's, that's awesome. Thank you guys for the awesome mail time. I really do appreciate it if you want to send me mail. It's in the description, but it's also right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, don't forget to smash the hell out of the like button. Tell me what brand you want me to buy when we hit 500,000 subscribers. And I'll get the hell out of your hair for now. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.